Hey, uh, what's up? My name is Bailey McClett. I'm a uh, designer and filmmaker here in Denver, Colorado. I currently work for Boulder Media House, which is a small production company um, that some of my buddies and I started back in college. It's kind of run away from us and turned into more of a thing than we all thought it was gonna. I split my time here. Uh, my in-office duties are kind of more like the business operations side of things. I do a lot of graphic design, uh, some animation motion graphic stuff, but my bread and butter, um, at least lately creatively, is definitely filmmaking. I have a super sweet crew. Our little baby team of uh, four of us in college has kind of grown into this really cool six to eight person thing that we've got going on here. We definitely all have our own strengths and weaknesses. That's the thing, so people ask me all the time, um, I'm trying to get into videography, I'm trying to get into production. What would you, like what, like my advice really is to pick your crew. And I think your crew is really the most important part of all of it because you can freelance, but I think being a freelancer can only take you so far. I think at a certain point, whether it's like now when we're young or 10 years, 15 years down the line, like eventually you're gonna have to find kind of a crew to lean on, you know, cause we can't do everything. Um, so it's just been really, really cool and rewarding to be able to take this like little side gig that we all had going in college. And um, it's been so cool to like see everybody kind of develop into their like specialty and like what they do and like how they contribute to the team. And like together we can do stuff that like, there's no freaking way that we could pull it off alone. Um, I moved around a lot growing up as a kid actually. My dad was a military contractor. So every two years or so I'd be in like a different state or different country which has given me some really cool perspective and honestly some really, really cool connections that I've made throughout, I guess, my childhood even that have come back and been beneficial in like a creative sense or like a work sense, like some kind of business sense, you know. So I've actually been in Colorado for a little over 10 years. So I've always been interested in like the business side of things. I would say before being a filmmaker, I would say I'm an entrepreneur. I just find the building of businesses and like running business and like scaling like so interesting and engaging and it has been such like a cool challenge to like combine that passion with like my creative passions of like filmmaking, photography, design work and stuff like that. My first camera was a T3i, Canon T3i and I brought that thing to every travel swim meet that my swim team went on and I was like the video guy so I recorded everything, cut together like a video of like each swim meet and listen, they're, they're still online today if you dig deep enough I'm sure you can find them. Still get flashbacks when I hear uh, the right slander song, that's kind of where I got my start. From that I uh, kind of moved on to some other opportunities, still continued to shoot for like school publications and stuff like that. I got picked up by Urban Outfitters to do a lot of fashion photography so that's kind of where my focus was was for a long time. Did a lot of freelance work on the side, uh, shot a lot of music shows and got into like music clubs at my school so that I could get access. And while in college, the biggest opportunity that I had that I would say has kind of formed who I am as a creative professional today was working for Universal Music Group in Los Angeles. So I have a buddy who I went to college with. Um, he from the LA area actually worked for Universal Music. Um, he actually ended up dropping out of college because his career in music took off so well. A couple interviews later, I was in with the Universal Music Group as the Denver, Boulder, I guess this region content representative. Uh, when Universal labels would have artists come through the area, I would be the one that would cover them and we had a bunch of like ongoing YouTube series and social series and stuff like that. So I got to meet a ton of really, really cool people that have really kind of grown their careers, both on like the artist side of the industry and on the management and like record label side of the industry. That was huge. That job really taught me what it means to work for a client on a higher level. Turnaround times were fast and quality needed to be high. I needed to be able to ideate and come up with ideas and I needed to be able to, I guess, like interface and interact with so many different levels of like artist management, artists themselves, record labels. Being, I guess, like put in that situation has made me a better creator, better videographer, better photographer, better director in ways that I can't even explain, like the ways that I was able to grow from that opportunity. So it is not at all about the school you went to or the camera that you own or how much money you're starting out with. It is 100% about the crew that you pick, not the camera you hold, and how hard you work with that crew and how badly you want it. It's a tough game. Stick to your guns, know your worth. It's just being able to be friendly, accepting, open to mentorship and coaching. Just like a willingness to like nose the grindstone and just work, like get it done. And eventually people will notice and you'll get picked up for 
the things that you want to do. This has been Bailey McClett with Fresh Tapes Creator Tapes. Make sure you go check out Fresh Tapes, check out me, check out Boulder Media House, and um, get back to work. <laughs> <laughs>